Gorilla Mode. Thoughts on the Todd Monken hire? I know he did good things at Georgia, but everything I've seen makes him sound like the second coming of Bill Walsh. How much different do you think the Ravens' offense will look? I mean, it all boils down to is Lamar there or not. If Lamar is there, it has some. Uh, I think it would be more of the pro style that Lamar is potentially looking for, but I don't feel like it's going to be you know, something that we were going to act like we've never seen before. I don't think it's going to be anything like that. But at the same time, if Lamar is not there, no, I don't know. You feel me? <laughs> but Lamar is the guy, though. Lamar is going to make any offensive coordinator look really, really good. It's going to make their scheme really explosive. And I think that's going to change our perception of Todd in his potential offense. Whereas if they're running that thing with a rookie or somebody that's not the same caliber player as Lamar Jackson, man, we're not going to look at you know, Todd in that offense and think that it's anything special. I think we're going to look at it and say, okay, they might have some schematic stuff that is cool. You'll see some college concepts and stuff like that. But as a whole, you need that key piece. And Lamar for Baltimore is that key piece, which is why they doing their whole song and dance about tagging and paying and how that's going to be. But that's kind of like how I think of the whole, you know, hire with him. But of course, during this time, yeah, they're going to obviously pump him up. They're going to talk about him very, very glowingly for multiple reasons. Number one, because it's the dead time of year. You want to get the crowd hype or get your fan base hype. But also, you're trying to make Lamar feel more enthused about staying, maybe potentially taking a little bit less money for Baltimore. So they're going to definitely prop this dude up and talk about his offense as if it was, you they know. They advised Lamar on this one, too, yeah, from yeah. what I heard. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so all of that's in play right now. But, yeah, they're basically going to try to do whatever they can to keep Lamar. But they need to cut a check, man. man. What I'm assuming with this guy's offense, it goes back to – all of our speculation with Lamar's contract, probably going back like a month ago, mm-hmm. where I feel like Lamar wants to get out of all that read option stuff and all the design mm-hmm. runs. And that's what Greg Roman was known for. He's very much a yeah. run-first offensive Same type. Same friend, he was doing it. it was, I feel like yeah. we're just going to get a more traditional offense from yeah. the Ravens then. Maybe that's just it. more traditional mm-hmm. shotgun, less of the read option stuff. Yep. Not saying you're not going to see running plays with Lamar, because I think you'd be stupid not right. to. But in terms of it being the focal point, when you watch Greg Roman, <clears throat> whether that was Greg Roman and Baltimore. Maybe a little Lamar, more Kingsbury-ish with Kyler. Yeah. I was you have say, a little bit of that, but it's more spread. Yeah, because like Greg Roman, that's one of his staples, whether it was with Kaepernick or when you're talking about Lamar, he is going to feature the quarterback as a runner. Design QB runs, and they're going to call him frequently, and they are a headache to prepare for. Whereas when you talk about Kingsbury, it's like you're going to have some zone read concepts, but it's more so we're going to move the pocket and let Kyler just be an athlete. And some of the stuff is not even a design run for Kyler. It's just him extending the play and just making something happen. I feel like Lamar wants more of that versus the let me just call it run. Let me just call it run. And that's one of the things that even Josh Allen dealt with early on in Buffalo where it was like, yo, you're calling a ton of just designed runs. And it's cool, but, you know, you're going to get them beat up. Whereas now you look at how the offense is, it's not necessarily a ton of, you know, we're going to call quarterback power. They'll still run it, but it's more so sprinkled in there, and it just lets him extend plays and use his legs after that. I think for Lamar, that's where you're more dangerous. When you're able to really be back there like, yo, we playing pass right now, and now he's taking off versus, hey, guys, we out here in base defense because they call it a quarterback run right here, and we all just got our antennas up. It's just very different in terms of, like, the mindset and the approach at it.